What you making now, Karen? I'm gonna make spurgers. A That's what? Spurger. I made that up. It stands for a spoked pork and beef burger. It's gonna have pork, beef, bacon, onions, jalapeno cheese, and we're gonna smoke the burgers. So they're spurgers. We're Dave and Karen from Locks on Wheels, and we sold our sticks and bricks to RV full-time now that we are retired. We travel with our heavy-duty truck Leroy, our two k motorcycles, our DRV Dixie, and our smart car Zippy. Don't forget to subscribe and click on that bell to be notified when we post a new video. I got a, about a half an onion here. I figure about a quarter onion per patty. Want it real fine. That on there. Oh, that's up pretty nice. <laughs> and I've got two strips of bacon. Dave cooks bacon ahead of time on the griddle, and he makes up about 90% done. So I've just got to heat them up for like 30 seconds in the microwave. So I'm going to take two slices, and I'm going to chop that up too. I might want a little more than that. Two burgers. What do you think? Do you want a little more? Yeah, maybe, yeah. So two strips per burger. So now we got a half an onion. And we got four strips of bacon, finely chopped. And now I'm going to put in about, it looks like, what do you think? That looks like a half pound. Yeah, that is probably close to a half pound. About six ounces. This is about six ounces here, I think. This is 80%. You want to not use anything too lean. The pork will help. But you don't add salt and pepper to the mixture. You put it on the outside of the patty after you make it. Because if you put the salt on the inside of the mixture, it pulls the moisture out and it makes your burgers drier. So I was going to make two big burgers out of this. Now it's looking yeah, like... Yeah, it looked more like about four burgers. <laughs> That's yeah. probably about a pound and a half in here all together. Probably. So let me mash one of these out. I'm gonna make out of this. I'm gonna end up getting four out of this, aren't I? You can use parchment paper. I'm using wax paper. Hello. I'm gonna take my wax paper. I'm gonna fold it. Try to leave a little space so this can be smashed out. So today's a little trick. Get it. And you just bang it down the girl. See that? Nah. Yeah, you want them to be bigger than your bun. Because they're going to shrink up, right? Yep, a little bit. Easy on the counter. Maybe I've had one too many beers. <laughs> one too many Moscow, <laughs> Moscow mules. Moscow mules. <laughs> So we're gonna put them in the smoker and we're gonna put them on a pan for, we're gonna use a pan. Hang on, I'm try that again. Moscow Mule. This is first time trying this, so I'm not even sure how well it's gonna work. It's called Junk Cooking with Karen. You make a fun of me? Nope. Okay, because if this does, these don't work out, I'm not, Never gonna see this. Gonna post it. Yeah. So now. Man, you got a lot of burger. They're not to fit on here. Both in just two, two and keep two in the papers. So can I put that in there? I'm gonna salt and pepper. I forgot what I was saying. Salt and pepper. Go smoke them. Using hickory. What temperature? Two twenty-five. Okay. And I'm thinking, let's check them 
in 15 minutes just to see what it's doing since this is new to us. All right. Okay. Okay, Dave's setting up the smoker. Okay, so those are just dry chunks of hickory? Yeah, I'm putting them in dry because we're going to go for a short smoke, short and intense. Uh-huh. So. But only 225. Yep. Okay. Close the door. Get her heated up to 225 and then we'll put them in. And I decided I was just going to put the other two on foil over here. Yeah. So we're going to cook all four at the same time. You actually could put them right on the rack and you'd probably get better smoke. But I'm just going for the safe side of things. because Things falling through. <laughs> yeah, we've never done it before. Okay, we are at 225. It only took about five minutes. So you want to put the ones on the foil no, on the top? Want to see if we're starting to smoke yet. Oh, yeah, uh, we are. We got a little bit of smoke coming. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. 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 Oh, boy, I need something to grab that one. Are you using mechanics tongs? I am. You gotta. No, I'm just sitting here. I'm watching. I'll hold this. You hold that. <laughs> we'll get the smoke to go around. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the only thing. It's probably not gonna be as smoky because they're not directly on the racks. On the, on the racks. But we'll see. Okay. Well, it's been almost 20 minutes and it's smoking and I just want to look to see. We're at about 220, 225. Open it up, let's see. What be it looking like? Oh my. I don't think these are going to take that long to cook. Mm -hmm. What's what? up? What? What? What are we doing, Karen? I don't know. We well, were making we were making spurgers. Yeah, but what are we doing now? What are we making now? Um, uh, making another drink. Another drinky poo. Yeah, I'm gonna oh. have my. Well, that's not a Moscow Mule because I don't have a copper cup, so I'm using my Jack Daniel's glass. Jack Daniel rock glass. Yeah, I got that when we went, the we went to the distillery. Oh yeah, there it is. And you're supposed to use lime and basil, I think was one of the, you, you can put different things in it, but lime's a biggie. And you use ginger beer. I don't have ginger beer, so I'm using diet ginger ale. All right. And then I put vodka in a mason jar. That's all vodka? Yeah. I'm not drinking the whole thing, like medium. Oh, uh -huh, sure. And then I put lemon and lime, and my neighbor had basil growing, so I got some basil in there and some mint, fresh mint leaves, too. Let's take a look at what we got here. And I just take my wooden spoon and I kind of mushed it around in there and muddled it up a little bit. And I'm going to serve myself. Looks like you've already been served. Well, I'm still thirsty. Oh. So you got to strain it off, huh? Well, I guess you don't have to, but I... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Too much in the jar. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Whoopsie. Whoopsie. That was not a Freudian... L a little heavy that... thumb on the scale there, wasn't it? I'm sorry. Why? You used to... Not driving! Uh -huh. <laughs> you might be crawling. Yeah, this might be a little strong for me. No, that'll work just fine. Yeah, I thought so. You want to try it? I'll give it a shot. We'll, we'll, we'll put it in. There it comes. Oh, yeah. That's... That is good. Yep, yeah, Very oh. refreshing. Good summer drink. That's an Arley Mule. Karen's Arley Mule. Karen's Arley Mule. Now, we have to go flip our burgers. We got three pieces of hot pepper jack and habanero. Yeah. No. Yeah. Not, Not pepper jack. It's, it's uh... Yeah, and I was going to break. 
it's hot habanero, hot, blah, 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 hot jalapeno and habanero cheese. Okay. But we only have three pieces, so I'm putting cheddar on one of them. Okay. Oh, they're smoking. All right. What do you say? And then flip it over and let's see what it looks like. Just on the pan there. Hmm. Yeah. Okay, so... All right, so let's go like this. Uh-huh. We'll put these two right here. Oh. Who's cleaning this mess up? You are. I quit. Yeah, use your finger. Okay. You want to take that out of there? I ain't going to hurt it, so... Go five to ten minutes and then put the cheese for five. Okay, we'll go that. Okay. Think we gotta flip them? Yeah. Yeah, we'll flip them. These are definitely well done. They don't have to be this done. Oh, that one's yours. Well, they're definitely done. Let's just get the cheese melted now. Give it a couple minutes, let it melt, and we'll eat them. Okay, only took a couple minutes. That cheese melted. So these look like quarter pounders now. Yeah. I think I should have made them thicker. Probably, but. Okay. Try one with the hot jalapeno and habanero. I took too big of a bite. Hope doesn't take this long to name a saint. <laughs> we will be doing this again. Smoking burgers is good. Spurgers are good. <laughs> All right. Smoked pork and burgers. Spurgers. Smoked pork and beef burgers. Yeah. With bacon and onions. With a Moscow mule. Arley mule. Arley mule. That's the combination? Yeah. Right. You try it. I would just leave them thicker next time. How do you like it smoked? I'll tell you. you with the bacon it. in there. And the onion? And the onion. I think we're going to have to open up our own burger store. <laughs> this is really, really good. This is a definite repeat. I've never had a Spurger. I never even had a smoked burger, but this is really you know, good. You know, with, the, with that habanero cheese on there, I think it's just right. Uh huh. It's I not hot too. at all, really. I mean, it's flavorful, but it's not hot. It's really, it's really, really good. Really, really, really good. You guys need to try this. I was going to try a little barbecue. Seeing how it's a smoked burger. Not a burger, what they call it? Spurger. 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 Oh, yeah. Drop the fork. <laughs> I'm having this tomorrow again. This is so good. And so is this. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> what? Just checking in. I'm still enjoying. She's still eating on the mule train. It's a mule spurger. Mule spurger. And it all started right there. <laughs> That's it. I got your brain thinking. <laughs> I ain't cool. Tell me how that brain's thinking tomorrow. I ain't cool. <laughs> you ate two of them. No carbs, though. Stay true to yourself. I'm good. It's just really good. We gotta make that for other people. Oh, really good. There you go. Would you stop recording me? People are gonna think I'm a lush. I got my disguise on here, but actually it's because I got COVID hair. I need a haircut. Stop. Turn that thing off. Stop it.
Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. We'd love to hear from you in the comments below, even if it's just to say hi. Don't forget to subscribe.